All right, so while you guys are getting warmed up with some other questions, we did receive another question from Antonia. So uh, Antonia from Saskatchewan, actually, that's where Kiwi Lauren is as well. Uh, so Antonia from Saskatchewan is saying uh, she's going to be staying in Dunedin for a while, and she wants to know what are the kids' activities available in Dunedin? So it's funny, we just published a video with uh, Clay we act where we actually talked about uh, things to do with um, with kids in Dunedin. And there is kind of a lot to do uh, with kids in Dunedin. And let's get started with some stuff to do in Dunedin, which involves wildlife. Um, yeah, so what what kid doesn't love nature and wildlife? It's <laughs> yeah, really cool to go and see some of the amazing wildlife that you can particularly see on the Otago Peninsula, which is just a short drive from Dunedin City. And you actually have quite a few different options to see wildlife there. Um, first of all, you can go on a tour with the Elm Wildlife Tour, which will actually pick you up from your accommodation in Dunedin and take you to private conservation areas and the Royal Albatross Centre on the Otago Peninsula. So you can see all sorts of different wildlife. You can see seals, sea lions, different. There's the little blue penguins, the yellow eyed penguins um, and beautiful giant albatross as well. The royal albatross. So, yeah, there's lots of different um, types of animals you can be seeing. And kids usually really love um, those sorts of uh, trips to go see the animals as well. So, yeah, that's one option there. Um, but also on the Otago Peninsula, there's um, if you want to look for a shorter tour, there's Penguin Place, which is a conservation area to go see yellow-eyed penguins, which are one of the rarest types of species of penguins in Dun uh, in the world, not just in Eden. Um, and yeah, and then that's also home to the Royal Albatross Centre, which has two really cool tours there. They do um, a little blue penguin colony um, tour, which you go just as um, just as it gets dark, you can go onto a viewing platform and watch the little blue penguins come into shore and waddle to their nests, which is always really cool to see. Um, but alternatively, they do um, a bit of a tour to a royal albatross colony um, and you get a really good close up viewings of some of the, well, the largest seabirds in the world. So that's always a really impressive sight as well. All right, so next up, if you want the kids to stretch their legs, you have the uh, Dunedin Botany Garden, which is quite large, a lot of flowers, a lot of big space. Get them to run around, get them tired so they go to bed and uh, sleep well at night. That's, that's you know, that's always a good one. You de yeah. definitely want to exhaust them <laughs> a little bit. But if you want to educate them, uh, you do have the Otago Museum, which is a fantastic museum, uh, super interactive, like a lot of, and we do have a video of us exploring it on the channel, mm. a lot of interactive um, attractions. Um, I, I, I don't think that, no experiment, I'll say, no attractions. But yeah, uh, you also have a, a butterfly garden over there. Uh, you know, it's always cool to get yeah. to see insects and everything like that. So there's really uh, kind of a lot of uh, a lot of you know things for the kids to do and things it's not a boring museum basically and so yeah. i think it's, it's kind of worth pointing out but it's not the only not boring museum in dunedin is it yeah so another really popular museum in dunedin is the toy 2 settlers museum um, and this basically tells the story of all the settlers that arrived in new zealand ranging from the early maori um to um the european settlers and in dunedin there's a strong scottish settlers heritage there as well and they also have quite interactive um exhibitions there a really cool one uh, that we can remember is um going onto a settler's uh, ship and you get to basically see like what the not a settler's ship but like a migration ship um from europe and you get to see the sort of conditions that people migrating to new zealand would have been in for that long journey to new zealand so yeah, yeah that's a that's quite a cool museum to check out as well all right so uh if you are really into wildlife and the kids didn't get enough wildlife in the first few times you actually have some kayak tools available just so you're aware so um i just kind of yeah that springs in my mind so you can do kayak tools um to go check out seals and and even some um some albatross and everything like that so that's yeah. quite awesome um, shall we keep on going? Yeah, keep on going, yeah. So um, another attraction in Dunedin is New Zealand's only castle, which is Lanark Castle. Um, yeah, kids usually like to see that because castles are quite cool. So um, it's a bit, it's a, got a small entry fee to get to the castle grounds and the gardens. The gardens are quite a popular attraction there and it has 
really awesome views across the Otago Peninsula and back to Dunedin. Um, and yeah, you can also have a quick sort of look around um, around the interior of the castle too. Um, so yeah, that's that's quite a cool sort of very different attraction because obviously you don't get to see that many castles in New Zealand. So if you're looking for something a little bit unique and different, then that's that's an option. Now, if it's pouring down with rain, there are still some options in Dunedin. There is an ice rink where you can go, uh, you know, do some ice skating um, and, you know, fall on your butt, which is what <laughs> I do most of the time. And there's also something called Mega Zone where you have like laser tag and arcades and those kind of things. I think they have bowling. Do they have bowling? Uh, yes. Maybe, I think so, yeah, yeah, I think they have bowling Ten as well. Bowling, so yeah. You can, you can, uh, you, you can, you can do like a lot of like kind of you know family kind of activities in there so that's a pretty good place to hang out if you have kids and it's pouring down with rain yeah um okay let's finish with the, probably the most iconic photo op in Dunedin yes um so the last thing you can do uh, for traveling to, to uh, the last thing you can do when you're looking for things to do in Dunedin with kids is go to the famous Baldwin Street um, and this is in the Guinness Bowl Guinness World... I'm having trouble speaking today. Speaking the is hard. Guinness World Book of... What is that? The Guinness Book of Records. records of Worlds. <laughs> world's Guinness Book of Records? It, has, it holds know. the world record of being the steepest street in the world. So, um, yeah, if you're looking for some fun family photo opportunities, then you can go to this really steep residential street, make your way up to the top, which is always quite the mission, but don't worry, it's it's not too too long of a walk. <laughs> Certainly um, the kids will sleep well after that day. Yes, um, but you can get some cool photos where you can make the street look uh, straight, but the the buildings behind look wonky or vice versa and it's a really hilarious place to go so if you if you have your own car because it is a little bit out of town then you can drive to baldwin street and snap up those photos hey you go so i hope that that was useful that we gave you enough uh, enough things for you to do with kids in the need antonia um i hope you'll be able to keep them busy we try to get some stuff for like all different kind of ages so you may be able to fit because you didn't tell us how old were your kids. So you may be able to fit some stuff there. Yeah. And if your name is Nana Antonia and you did find that useful, you know, you can hit the like button, hit subscribe, say thank you for all the hard work. You guys are awesome. And uh, yeah, you can check out nzpocketguy.com and there's a link in the description below as well with an article of things to do uh, with kids in Dunedin and with even more options. So I hope that you guys are going to find that super useful. In the meantime, let's go back to the live chat.